Assalamualaikum everyone. <sighs> this past weekend was a little scary for me. Yeah, not a little, it was actually really scary for me. So, I wasn't feeling well on Friday. I woke up with really bad eye pain from that issue I've had since I was a kid. And then my aunt and her husband said that they were going to stop by later in the day because they were coming to our area for errands. So I was like, okay, once I was feeling a little better, I went and I was cooking. And they came, we ate, we had a great time. And then all of a sudden, my aunt was like telling my son, like, oh, come here. I want you to listen to something. And I knew that she was going to put Duai Nazar on. So she put Duai Nazar on. And as she put it on, I was joking with my son. And I was like, who's even going to give you the evil eye? And I said it in a teasing way, but... I kid you not, like, the Dwai Nazar video or audio was not even done and he went charging towards like a hot cup of tea. And I don't remember anything, but according to what everyone else says, I screamed really loud and all I remember is that my brain wasn't functioning and my mom was like, take his pants off. So I'll show you guys like a picture of his pants and that picture was like taken probably half an hour after everything happened so it was already a bit dried up but you can see like there was a lot of tea that spilled and my aunt had just poured it a few minutes ago so it was really hot from the thermos. So I ran with him to the bathroom and I started splashing like cold water on his legs and his legs were my main focus. It's like I was just staring at that and putting water on it because his pants were really wet. But my husband was like, look at his stomach. And his stomach was so red. The majority, like, <laughs> his whole stomach was covered. Like, it was burnt. It was really red. So when I saw that, I started freaking out more. And I put, like, cold water on it. And then I put him in my mom's arms because she was sitting on the floor. And I was so scared to touch him because I didn't want to hurt him. And my dad brought, like, this... Um, aloe gel with lidocaine a burn gel that we had at home thankfully i had bought it a few months ago and he just like put it all over the baby's body and he was screaming and crying and i was crying the baby was crying um and it was just so scary and i was considering taking him to the hospital i didn't know what to do like my brain was not working my aunt was like oh it's not a second or third degree burn so he'll be okay inshallah you don't need to go to the hospital so the lessons that I want you guys to take away from this is always read Dua'i Nazar, always put it on for your kids. Um, second lesson is do not challenge Allah. Don't even make a joke about it. Like why would anyone give you the eye or you're not, you know, why would anyone give you Nazar even as a joke? I mean, I love my baby. I was just trying to tease him. Not that he even understands, but obviously it's not even a good thing to tease your kid like that. Like you know, implying that they're not cute or something, you know? But he drives me crazy, so I was just messing with him. And the third lesson is to always have some burn gel or something at home. And because at that moment, when these types of things happen, your brain doesn't work. Like all my medical knowledge was out the window. All of my common sense was out the window. Like, thank goodness my mom was telling me to take his pants off because I didn't know what to do. I was panicking. And subhanAllah, like, you might think like, why? did this happen even though Dwai Nazar was playing and I'm sure like we may have recited it before that why did this happen then because that's what I was thinking but you know what it could have been so much more worse because we put the aloe gel on him and then at night I gave him a dose of Tylenol which I don't like to use actually I gave him Genexa but it's basically acetaminophen it just doesn't have like the extra dyes and fillers and stuff but it's still a drug that I don't really like to give him, but I felt bad because he kept waking up and tossing and turning and crying. And I'm like, he can't talk. So if he can't tell me that he's in pain, I don't want him to be in pain. So I gave him pain reliever, uh, which he didn't even want to take because he'd rather take like bitter herbal stuff than the sweetened um, medication, subhanAllah. So I just wanted him to be comfortable that night. And by the next morning, alhamdulillah, his body was okay it wasn't like it left any marks or it was severe because my aunt actually in the past she had spilled tea on her foot and it ended up being so severe that she was in pain for months and they had to like cut the dead skin off and it was just a whole thing 
so we actually got off easy with him. It's definitely important to read your duas and atka because this could have ended very differently. And alhamdulillah, I'm very happy that, you know, it happened the way it did, although it would have been better for it not to have happened, but um, it's it could have been way worse. So always read your duas. And I believe that this was a miracle from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protecting my child because in that moment, I don't know how to explain to you what I was going through, what I felt. Um, it could have been way worse. I'm just glad it wasn't. So have yaqeen, have faith in the duas and the words of Allah. And may Allah grant you all the same miracles that he granted me. And actually, may he grant you guys better than he granted me. I mean, see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum.